Hello and good morning, and welcome back to a game I haven't played in a really long time, Foundation. So I'm excited to get back into it. Let's, I guess, get back into it. So we're back in the town of Quabbleshire, and it's been a while since I've been here, or since any of us have been here, really. And from my understanding, a decent amount has changed with the game. Also, we are out of wood and tools, just looking at that there, so I think I know the first thing on our to-do list. But, yeah, the town is, of course, looking as great as we left it. Everyone's just vibing on their own little things they do, you know, it'd be how it'd be here. Oh, poor people are joining the town, that's kind of cool. So yeah, it's been a while since I've played the game. I know they've changed a little bit how masterpieces work. I don't really know what's changed about them. I think there isn't a limit anymore, but I'm not going to experiment with that today. Clearly up here we're building a monastery, which requires glass, and we actually don't have any glass. I think we actually started a glass production line. Yeah, you can see it's getting constructed there, but we are on a wood deficit. So that's something we need to think about. I don't know. It's really been a while since I've actually done anything here, so I guess I need to kind of figure out where we're at so I can really get us going again. I see we have a bit of a bread problem, a bit of a berry problem. We have plenty of cheese. We always seem to have a lot of cheese, if that's something I remember. And I think it's because cheese just produces like nobody's business. We got plenty of clothes, plenty of cloth. We got plenty of marble. We got some gold. We actually have a decent amount of jewelry, which I think we sell over here in this little market. Yeah, we sell it here, and people are actually selling it, buying it, which is making us a decent amount of cash. So the only thing I'm seeing is we need to up our wood production a little bit. And the best way we do that is with a forester, not a forester camp, it's the woodcutting camp. Woodcutter, woodcutter, woodcutter. Lumber camp. Lumber camp is what it's called. So actually, let's look at our zoning here. So we can see where we have our tree chopped down area zoned, which is here. This big old zone there. What's going on down here? And yeah, that's about it. We have a decent amount of tree cutting going on. Uh, we're going to paint some more right here. And we're going to plop a lumber camp right there. Just so they get to that. Start construction. Prioritize. Go. Although we are on a tool shortage, which I assume we're using. I wish there was a way, and there might be, and I might just be stupid, to see where your materials are going to. But then again, I could just be stupid. I know they did update how promotions work, and that's kind of cool. Don't need that. Oh, there's a lumber camp somewhere that doesn't have anyone working here. Let's fix that. All right. That should help our wood problem a little bit. From what I remember about this game, and it's been a while since I've played, it's a lot of managing people around where they need to be. I don't know, it's kind of cool. I was shown a game by a friend of mine the other day called Austin. Not the other day. Like a couple months ago at this point called Ostrov, and I'm kind of tempted to try that. Oh, oh, Ooh, we're back in a housing crisis, apparently. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we have plenty of zoned land here, but no one actually wants to live there at the moment. We got some coming up this way, but again, it's minimal wanting to live there. New military mission is available. You know, I'm going to be honest, Chief. It's not the highest priority. Oh, the weather is done. Good. I think it comes down... Tell me if I'm wrong, to lack of wood. What we need to do is what we always do in the past. Prioritize house construction. And I'm seeing a problem real quick. There isn't many houses under construction. And by that, I mean I've seen zero houses under construction. Oh yeah, is that one? No, that's a yard. Alright. So, I think we found... Oh, there is a house here. No, it's a granary. Okay. I wish I remember what my plan was with this granary, because I have no clue whatsoever. <laughs> Oh, but the bailiff is ready for another mandate. Uh, let's prospect this last mineral deposit, which is this one right here, I think. Or maybe that one? I don't know. I'm hoping it's something useful. Marble isn't all that useful. I really don't know if there's anything you can do with marble. Maybe you can trade it out yet? No. You can buy glass. Interesting. Well, we have a glass mill during construction anyway, so it's fine. So what that, I think that means we need to do is get a couple more houses built up. And this looks like it could be an area that has a lot of potential, but the desirability is very low, and that means it's because there isn't a market nearby. The market's right here. Also depends on where people are living, working, and where they are living. Because I want to live near where they work. I mean, who doesn't? I mean, I live 30 minutes from where I work, but that's actually not that bad. 
actuality. But, yeah, they want to live somewhat close to where they work because they have to walk to work. They don't get to drive. They don't get cars in this town. And definitely not because we're in medieval time. It's just because we don't give them cars. Uh, let's see. So, I want to up land value. Let's up some land value up here. I always build like a tavern, which should land raise land value, maybe? I'm not seeing anything that actually does that here. Alright, so we're not going to do the tavern. Just cease existence. Yep. Alright, let's use the decoration blocks. because they actually do that? Well, that's expensive. Hmm. A little bit of fence action always goes a long way. We can get some fences along here, even though they do cost planks, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so... Great idea and all. Don't have the resources to do it. And they cost a plank and a tool. Oh, okay. Well, we'll get one fence because that's all we can afford. What we will do is we can place down some trees. We'll alternate the decoratives and the cypresses. Up to this path. Out of town. And frankly, I don't feel like rotating them. I mean, that's something I would typically do, but... Not right now. No. <laughs> we have bigger fish to fry. Namely, the uh, lack of houses. So, hopefully this helps out a little bit. That was a really badly placed tree. Alright, so I'm hoping that actually goes a long way in making the area more lived in. And encouraging people to build up in this area. I mean, I'm not too concerned about money at the moment, which is good because I'm always concerned about money in this game. So, that makes me happy. I'm going to get another one there. Alright, and that will still leave a path for someone to come in here. Oh wait, was this church under construction maybe? Yeah, this church has been under construction. That's probably why the land value has been so low. Let's uh, look at this. Starability lowers. Residential. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going up. Look at that. That's also in part due to the trees, but it should mean we see a house or two pop up over here leading to fixing this. It's a step in the direction that we need. Oh, we have an action. A monk is requesting an audience. What's up, Mr. Monk? Uh... You know, I'm going to be honest, fine. Uh, let's see, we need to get some more houses over here, I think. This looks like a prime real estate area. End up this way, and do we have this zoned as residential? We do, it's just no one really wants to live in this area. Not really sure why. It's a prime real estate. Also, how's this construction going? I mean, it's not, clearly. But what do you need? You need tools, okay. We found another quartz deposit, how lovely. I don't even know where that was. Oh, it looks like it was here? No, we were already mining that one. Oh, the glass smelter is done, though. And we need to get some sm guys going on that. Where's the nearest warehouse that has empty space in it? What does a warehouse look like? That is a warehouse. My brain is all over the place. Let's, let's be honest right here. Oh, promotion season. Okay. So we can actually... They've added a lot of detail that you can see in these... Oh, it actually tells you what they need now. And only fulfilled needs villagers can be promoted. That's even cooler. And you can also start, sort it by job, by name, and arrival. So, we can promote all for 8,000 coins. We don't have quite that much, although I would love to do that. I would love to get some more service. We are currently having a small... Just a little housing crisis. So, that's something we gotta keep in mind as well. Our luxury, that's actually something we already fulfill. So, promoting a couple level sixes to citizen isn't too out there. Although, I do like promoting on the bottom, you guys know that. So, we're gonna promote these guys, which is every single one of them. They're all gonna need their own houses, though. I can promote the unemployed ones. And we'll promote a couple commoners. They're going to be a little bit more problematic because they need new houses. But we'll just kind of... We'll pick and choose. Actually, the way we can do it is we select a home. Okay, we see all these people here. They could be upgraded in one fell swoop, and that should be a way that helps. So, Bessinia. I Might be harder than I thought. Oh, here, let's do it alphabetically. Alright, so, signal. Put you down in the S's. 
Here you go. Here's Sigobald. Or Miller. All right. Let's go to Regino's. I'm mispronouncing. Oh, also, complete other fix that they added to this game. They've added more names. So, you know how before it was like villager number blah, 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 blah. Now they actually have names. Look at that. Fourth red. You're going to get promoted. Guy that begins with the letter Y. You're going to get promoted. And, oh, I can't afford the last one. All right, well, that's enough promotions for today. Goodbye. So what that means is it might have an easier time getting them into new houses. Because for the most part, everyone in this house has been promoted. Although we are definitely going to have... I made a mistake, I think. I think what I've done is made a grave mistake. Okay, we can see a new house just started popping up here. So we're going to prioritize that construction. What I kind of want to do is build a small bridge to here. So I can build up another houses over here. Because look at that. That's all prime real estate. Look at that. I think it's because of this masterpiece here. So everyone's just like, ooh, masterpiece. I want to live near that. So just really expand the housing area. So that looks like a good way of handling... Uh, where was it? House of upgrading. You are. All right. Prioritize your construction, please. Prioritize your construction, please. That is part of that. Also, no one seems to want to live over here, and that's probably because it's far away from literally everything. I think that might be part of the secret to increasing land value enough for people to live in the area is by building masterpieces. Although we can see that there's more and more people popping down houses, which is a good thing. It's something I consistently, I am always worried about. All right, let's actually do a military mission because we have a full army and they're all fully trained. We're going to send them on... Do we have something that's like a medium difficulty? Alright, we'll send them on... Not far. Can I vote a far? No, they're all far. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go for a difficult mission. Alright. We're going to send every single villager we have. A whole platoon. There's one novice, but it's okay. He will become a soldier soon enough. Send. Good luck. And we got a new villager as well. That's always a good thing. Oh, that means we need to build more houses. Yeah, you can see everyone's just kind of getting underway, which is, honestly, I'm happy to see it, because this has been under construction. I guess this has been under construction. It's pretty snazzy as a building, though. I do have to say so myself. I do like how a lot of the areas turned out. Alright, I'm going to... I can all the bells are ringing. Gem encrusted cross masterpiece. Knight statue. Food need fulfilled in this duration is increased by 100% when surrounded by forest. So I could build this. This is actually going to be near this church. So what I'll do is I'll put it right here. We're, we're just experimenting at the moment. Get I like the octagon. It's, it's a little big, I'm going to be honest. So we'll go with the smaller. Right here. I could go hexagonal on top of the... Uh, go up a little more. Cross. How, much, how expensive is that? 50 gems? I mean, it's doable. But it's not cheap. Also requires 15... I think this is... I'm not going to do this. Clear. Yes, clear. Delete. Bye. This one is kind of interesting because we can use the night statue to make people are less hungry, which would reduce our food consumption. But it needs to be surrounded by a forest. So I think you'd put it like... This is a hard question. I think maybe here? Just put it on the ground. <laughs> it doesn't even need to be the golden one. That's kind of cool. So what's the plinth? All right, plinth. There we go. Get a, I like this alcove pedestal for the male one because it's cheaper. Gotta rotate the whole thing like that. I would love to get a banner on the front. Although it doesn't look like it actually is going to be anywhere that looks good. I think what I'm supposed to do is a pedestal and then the plinth. Like that. And like then you put these on like this. 
and it gets really expensive. Actually, you know, this isn't too bad. I'm gonna keep on it, and we're gonna get these knight statues in. They look kind of cool. I'm only gonna put one on the front, because we cheap. And yeah, that actually I think is not too out there. Surrounded by forest, 32 of 90%. So it actually needs to be inside of a forest. Can't just cease existence. Leave. All right, let's try that again. So if I put it right here, because this is the area that we grow our trees, so there's going to be a pretty consistent forest here. So we'll try and we'll put plinth right here. We'll put a pedestal. Get my troops. Oh, wait, pedestal, please. Thank you. Pedestal. Statue. That is surrounded by forest, and the trees are going to be planted, tore down, planted, tore down, whatever you want to call it. And honestly, it doesn't even need that much decoration. I think the banners are a bad idea because that's the sort of thing that would wither in the rain. We're going to put just another statue on there and we can... Oh, that's expensive in terms of tools. But we're going to start construction. Um, I think it's going to look kind of nice. We have a sculpture guy, right? We do have a sculpture guy, so they're going to work on that. And that's actually used for our marble, which is good because we don't currently use that. I think we're getting things together and it's going to lower our food production, our food consumption because... God damn, that looks very necessary. Um, our food consumption is really high. I didn't actually realize that. I mean, our happiness is coming together, <laughs> but 20 villagers have lacked food. Okay, um, that is a problem. Let's go ahead and see if we can prioritize the statue, because it will lower our food consumption. We do have more berries. What's our fish looking like? A 40 fish. How many villagers do we have working at these fish mines? And by that I mean fisher huts. <laughs> fish mines. We actually have a decent amount of villagers working these huts. See, my thing is, I think those are the best way to do it. Because they're very consistent. Fish will always be there, rain or shine. It might be good to get another set, like maybe here. Maybe another one right there. I'm glad we're finally fixing happiness. Uh, not happiness. Housing. Although housing does equal happiness, I guess. You want berries. You see, I like my berries. I feel like I was a lot more giving before I came back. Because I would always give to it and then my village would struggle. But my village needs to succeed. We gotta be strong. Also, I like how this little area turned out. It just looks kind of... We found another quartz deposit. I really don't need another quartz deposit. We are producing more than enough glass. I think. I think. Are we producing glass? Do we have a... We've completely got sidetracked when I was looking for that warehouse. Success probability? Extreme. Go for it. Let's see here. Do we have warehouse? Not in this media area. Which is the area I need it in immediately. That's actually got coal. How's the quartz production going? Actually not saying anything. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to build a warehouse. If I can find where the warehouse is saved. Warehouse, here we go. Okay. Oh no, people don't like living here. Alright. <laughs> Just put it out here in the middle of nowhere. I could put it there. Yeah, we'll put it there. Ow. My, my knees really hurt when I sit in my chair for some reason. I feel like I'm just sitting wrong. A new mandate. Oh, that's not really helpful. Also, our money isn't doing all that hot. I really would love for this to get done. Oh, we can paint crop fields for the vine growers. We're going to have to do that. Also, the vine grower is not done. We can paint it maybe here. I don't know what the size it should be is, but it's a good place to start. Actually, I think it can extend outside of owned land. It cannot extend outside its own land. So, there's that. What's this whole... Is this set as a zone? Okay, it's set as a couple zones. That's okay. That's set as extraction. I think we just straight up don't have enough... We have plenty of wood, never mind. What am I saying? I think we're just constantly on a tool loss. Let's look at our tool production chain. So we have this one blacksmith here. Do we have a second blacksmith? Promotion season? 
Um, we have 59 bucks to promote people with. Which I'm going to be honest, isn't a ton, but we can promote that guy to a soldier. We can promote two serfs. We're all unemployed. Hmm. Screw it. You two are promoted. That way, we don't create a mass housing crisis later. Which is a good goal. Alright, I can promote another one. I'm just kind of watching the money there. If we can create mini housing crises, we won't have a big housing crisis. That's 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 the big brain thought right there. All right. I think we've actually been somewhat productive, even though I feel like I floundered around for 15 minutes or 20 minutes. I think this has been pretty productive. It was kind of me reintroducing myself to what was going on in Quabbleshire. I do want to play it more than I have in the recent time. Is this one house? It is one house. Okay. My soldiers were victorious. What'd you bring me? Oh, we have a little... What is the point of this warehouse? Pass me. What were you thinking? I, I legitimately don't know because I really want to know. <laughs> like, what was going on? I... I'm just gonna... I'm gonna regret this, but I'm just gonna delete it. <laughs> I'm sure I needed it for some reason, but it's just gone now. It's too late. What's been done is done. Alright, what did you bring me? Come on. Are we getting casualties? That's important. Also, we're out of cheese. At the beginning of this, I brought up, oh, we have a ton of cheese. We'll be good forever. Okay. We got brought 2,541 gold coins, which means I can promote a lot of people. 95 red, 39 iron, 6 tools, 2 polish. I don't need to read all this. All right, let's promote some people. Uh, I'm not gonna promote the unemployed people at the moment, but we are gonna promote this whole household. All right, Aslan, Afria, Henkel, 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 Henkel. It's a fun thing to say. Phrased, I. And Godway. Alright. Now we're going to promote another household. Let's just boost one at random. This one. Oh, it's just this guy. Okay. Well, that works out. That keeps it easy for me. What was your name again? This one. Oh, you're the new glass molar. You're renowned for your amazing work from across the... <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. I was just kind of reason. Alright. Antoinette? Alright. Antoinette? Alright, you've been promoted. I'll win. I'm gonna get promoted as well. I like this new way of doing it, because it kind of... This is something that was brought up in my comments a while ago, is that part of the problem of why a housing crisis gets created is because I'm you know, promoting people from random households, so a lot of there's a lot of open slots in those households, but a lot of people that just don't know what to do. So if I completely clear out a house, it should go a little smoother. Although I've realized I am promoting people purely based off of nothing helpful. Although it doesn't mean I can choose like the areas I want to, I guess, gentrify. <laughs> be like, okay, I want this area to be all these really nice houses. So I go in and promote all the people in these houses. Which I've actually done without even thinking about it. Okay. Uh, let's promote this household. So I just scroll through the list and choose the guys that need to be promoted. So David with two Vs. Clara, Clara, not Clara, Messia. I think this is a good way to do it, though, in terms of how the game mechanics work. Interesting. E comes after O, guys. That's actually, that's something that does confuse me. I think it should come after E, but I really don't know how that alphabet works. So it's not my business to speak. And Jacquet. Jacques. Alright, and we'll do this little household here. Oh, it's just that little guy. Alright. That's probably a newer house, yeah. Renila. Alright, I'm not going to promote everyone. I think this is the last set of people I'm going to promote. But, I think I've made some good choices in this. Also, I can turn back on time. Oh, it, it pauses time later in this. 
uh, Agase, and Jerizva. Well, I think there was a household which had someone in it here. Let's do those two as well. Alright, and that one, and that one. Alright, so enough promotions for today, and resume time. You go back over here. I didn't realize you can move that around, <laughs> but I did it. So I'm hoping that provides a smoother transition of people. And also just makes our areas look nicer, because all these people can't live in this house anymore. Which house is upgrading? Yes, it worked. It's upgrading the houses I wanted it to. Because everyone's still living in that house, they're just upgrading it as a unit. Oh, this house is upgrading, it looks like. This worked actually exactly as planned. I'm glad I got told this in the comments. And that this update came out that I can eat. My bad. That I can easily look through the different houses. Let's see how the military is doing before I send them out. Yeah, they're a little wounded. Let them relax for a little bit. We'll send them back out on a new escapade. I'm just hoping it upgrades that house there. Oh, it has a lower desirability than everywhere else in the area, so it's not going to really upgrade. So what we need to do is add a little bit of decoration. Uh, add some cypress trees. I love cypress trees in real life. Just nice looking trees. I use them in Planet Coaster sometimes. Although they definitely look very manicured. Which is a thing that goes on with them, I guess. That's just how they are. So I've created a mini cypress forest here, but that's fine. And I'll put a decorative tree there, just to top it off. It's going to look a little funky, but it's okay. And down here, we'll put some trees that, for some reason, can grow in the sand, because that's a thing. And I could just replace that tree there, but we'll, we'll place them along this. Yep, uh, there we go. That's one of them upgrading. I'm just hoping that helps residential. Right now it's desirability high. Yeah, that should be enough. Ooh. Wait, it just updated again. Ooh, I think there's a chance this one will upgrade. Maybe it needs a couple more. You're really big braining this, I do have to say. Oh, yeah, I got some decorative trees along here. Alright, that should help raise the land value. Maybe we'll put one, I don't know, right here. That should be a cypress, because where it's located. Cypress, please. Where are you, Cypress? Decoration. All right. Oop. So that should help raise the land value enough for this house to upgrade. Also, prioritize construction. Is food doing okay? Not exactly. But you know, I'm going to be honest. Things seem to be going much better now that I've done it that way. Also, I know I wanted stuff to build here, but nothing actually... Did I zone it? I did no zone it, but no one... It's not very high desirability. I guess that's fair. It's far away from everything, too. We'll worry about that a bit later. This is exactly how this area wanted to look. I think it's coming time where I replace this church with a newer one. Might be season. Alright, but I think that's where I'm going to leave it with today. I think this has been a productive episode. I have relearned where we are in the village. And if you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. I cross my fingers because I don't know if this will actually happen but I'm going to try to make it happen is actually try to get videos out regularly again uh yeah I, I'm just really bad with it there's no excuse I'm just bad with it so yeah I'll be seeing y'all next time bye for now